Uh, so let me show you how to initiate a an on-demand charge uh, session for the Pure 3 Lithium Energy Pack. as a digital nomad all day and uh, running the inverter 100% uh, of the day to keep my laptop, my iPad, batteries charged, uh, my cell phone charged, and my big monitor, 24-inch monitor going. Also was running my uh, HomePod. So the coach was entirely 110 volt uh, AC current all day long. So I'm here at the campground, the uh, Harvest Host Golf Club uh, overnight parking spot. And I wanna top my battery off uh, so that I'm leaving the campgrounds um, in a near full state of charge tomorrow morning because I'm going back to a place where um, I don't drive very far and I will need the entire day to use uh, full coach 110 power. Just want to top off the battery, get up to about 90% again um, while it's still early in the evening here, not creating any noise. Uh, so let me show you how to initiate a an on-demand charge uh, session for the Pure 3 Lithium Energy Pack. So we'll review the uh, operator's manual and in here on page uh, 612 it clearly states how to do stealth mode which is step one and then do an on-demand manual mode. So there's several steps in each. Let me walk you through them. Okay, so there are now four, there are four steps to enabling stealth mode, and what stealth mode means is that uh, the lights will not come on, the horn will not honk. Um, so the idea there is to not really notify those around you that you're starting your engine. Uh, it's pretty cool. Uh, I use stealth mode all the time. So step one is to set the handbrake, and step two is to insert the key into the ignition just to the accessory uh, position, not starting the car. So the dash lights have illuminated. So the next step is to push the silver button. This is the Pure 3 activation button here. Uh, you hold it down for a few seconds and it turns red, indicating that the stealth mode has been initiated. Now the dashboard will remain lit for a few seconds, about 30 seconds actually, and then turn off. So to initiate an uh, on-demand charge in this state stealth mode, now I press the button here three times and you'll hear the uh, chassis start. One, two, three. So now we'll see the engine go into high idle mode. So right now it's revving at about 15, 1600 RPMs and it, and it vacillates, fluctuates between 1100 and 1600. The engine will run in an on-demand mode until one of three uh, parameters are met. The engine has been running for 60 minutes, engine coolant temperature reaches 219 degrees, uh, the battery, the Pure 3 battery reaches 90% charge, which probably will happen in my case, or the chassis fuel tank level goes down to 25%. So this is a great way to um, top off the battery for the night. I'm gonna be running the inverter probably most of the night and all the day tomorrow, and I'm not doing much driving in the morning, and that's why I want to top the battery off tonight in this location. Um, let me give you a sampling of the sound. Uh, currently I have all the windows open and the sliding door, indicated by the beautiful Florida sunset. And I'll be quiet for a second and direct the microphone toward the front to see what you can hear, and then we'll go outside. So again, that's with all the windows open. Now let's go outside and I'll do a little walk around the front of the, um, the van so you can hear what that sounds like. And then we'll close all the windows so you can hear that again. Uh, now it just went down from uh, 1600 to about 1100 RPMs. Uh, so it's uh, in its quieter mode right now. All right, so I'm in the bathroom, and what I'm going to do is walk to the front. I've got all the windows closed, and this will give you a sense of uh, the interior uh, engine uh, level, noise-wise, volume-wise, um, as I get closer to the front. So it's just gone down to 1,100 RPMs, down from 1,600, so it's a little quieter. Let's, let's see if we can get out of here. So 
So that's it. It's pretty quiet from the inside. And with a little music playing, it's totally um, not even obtrusive on the inside. So we're about, uh, I'm gonna call it 70, a little over 70, 71% uh, SOC state of charge at this point. So it's gonna run for uh, an hour or until it gets to 90%. Uh, my guess is it's gonna get there in about 45 minutes to 90 and then turn off. So, so that's how you do a on-demand charge um, and do stealth mode. Hopefully you got something out of that. Um, just loving the Pier 3 system. Um, gonna be doing a video every Tuesday, uh, Pier 3 Tuesdays, uh, to get those uploaded to share with you folks. Um, uh, just the, the, the amazing freedom that lithium brings and Winnebago's partnership with Volta was just, just genius. This, this thing is really, really simple. So please comment, like, subscribe. Channel growth is going crazy. Um, really appreciate that. And uh, uh, lots more videos coming up. I've got a huge, huge agenda over the next few weeks. So uh, thanks for um, tuning in. And until we meet again, I wish you to journey on. So you can hear that there's definitely some engine noise coming from the front, not obtrusive, um, and it's really directional, I've found. Uh, I think, certainly think it's less obtrusive than a uh, traditional RV generator under the, uh, under the floor. So let me go inside there, see it just went down, uh, so now it's about 1100 RPMs. So you can hear the difference there. So let me go inside, shut all the windows so you can hear that from the inside.